Libra, this is what do you need to know about your romantic life or your love life and what energy is surrounding it? So this is for single people. This could be for people in a situationship. Maybe you don't know where you stand with somebody. This could be for couples, long-term relationship, committed connections, whatever the situation, what is the energy? I will never DM or solicit you guys. If you want to book a reading with me, you could do so through on my Etsy. Follow me on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Let's get into this reading for you. Take what resonates, toss what does not. So the energy around you, Libra, that is, I feel like, very supporting of moving forward with things, ending of cycles and new beginnings. Um, so this could be like for couples, this is like you get engaged, you get married. It's like leveling up in your connections, in your relationships. You bought a house, um, you're moving um, announcing a, a, a birth. So all of those things, I feel like that you are feeling like, oh my God, it's finally time. It's finally time. So a lot of that for couples, a lot of that for committed relationships. I feel like for single people, I feel like you feel like, oh, I've been single forever. You know, when am I going to find the one? When am I going to find the right person? I feel like your spirit guides are helping you, Libra. They're guiding you. They are, um, moving you past people that are a waste of time completely you're might be getting little signs little signals here and there um that maybe in the past you ignored them but nope now you really are kind of like tapped into that and tuned into that so definitely follow that um i do feel like for a lot of you who are single your spirit guides are leading you to the right ones to the right people to the right uh, match for your energy um I feel like if you're in a situation, if your guides are trying to, you know, communicate with you too, that it may be time to move on or put an end to it and just let it fizzle out and see what happens. If it comes back around, fine. If not, then, you know, you kind of have to just go on with your life and try to be happy and try to heal and know that time, you know, it takes time to heal. Same for if you are in a relationship that has just ended. Your spirit guides are around you. They're sending you love. They're protecting you. Um, and it just takes time. I know that's hard. I feel like for a lot of you though, it's making progress. Like single people, you could be making progress in your career life that is making you feel more abundant, more secure, more grounded, and that, you know, you have control of what you do and how you spend your time and where you spend your time and where you spend your energy. So yeah, for some of you, I feel like it's going to be like, hey, it's either time to, what are we doing here? Or it's time to go. Um, so that's all with the clock. Some of you, I feel like it is like moving into um, energy where it's like, oh my God, it's divine timing. This is perfect. We've been waiting for this. Um, it's finally time. Like that's a big energy around you right now too, Libra. Um, and again, it's healing. It's a time for healing. So if you're in a committed relationship, you're going to be healing things together. This might be couples counseling for some of you. This could be just uh, opening up to one another, um, turning over a new leaf. For single people, it's healing from your past and making sure you're not bringing baggage into relationships and making sure you're not letting somebody come with baggage to you to take into a relationship. Some of you, yes, it is a cycle ending with a, with a partner or a person for the better. And spirit guides are watching over all of these situations and um, fostering growth and, you know, sometimes going through those un un uncomfortable shifts um, for, for, the, for the betterment, obviously, and you stepping into kind of like a new power here. Love and light.